So I'm going to be trying out the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and this is the packaging. And it's a fresh complexion oil free foundation and my color is 310 and it's called Classic Tan. And I'm just going to read you what it says on the back. It's one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduce shine all day. It's oil free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin and again lasts all day. So if you didn't know by now I have oily skin. And so beforehand I already applied my sunscreen because it's summer and you don't want the sun to mess up your face. And I also apply my beautifully matte um, primer and this is just to mattify my skin and we're just going to see how this um, foundation lasts and yeah so it's just in it's a one ounce packaging just like every other foundation and I hope this is a match for me this was the second darkest shade and this is now from the CoverGirl Queen collection which is suitable for you know darker skin complexion this is from the regular line so they don't have a lot of shades so in MAC I'm in NC45 ish so Let's see if this works. So, just gonna put some on the back of my hand, and here it is. It's a little runny. I don't know if this foundation is gonna match me, but we're gonna see. So I'm just gonna dab this all over my face. I might need the darker foundation. I'm gonna use my um, what is this? My Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'm just going to pack it on to my skin and I'm going to squeeze a little bit more out it feels super lightweight it doesn't really have a smell it has like that regular drugstore foundation smell it blends in even, evenly and smooth. But it's not really covering up my imperfections. Let me see if I press it on, going over where I want extra coverage. I'm stippling it in for fuller coverage. the foundation is blending into my skin I thought it was a little bit too light but I think the next color up will be a little bit too dark it doesn't look cakey at all I would say this is maybe medium coverage but it's not really that buildable and I don't want to have too much heavy foundation on today because it is hot so I'm going to finish up with the rest of my face and come back Hey guys, so it's been a couple of hours and I didn't have time to show you my full face when I finished everything completely because I was in a rush to go out. So it was very hot today. It was around 73 degrees, but it was very humid because it rained a little today. And so here is my face and when I did the demo, I think it was around 11.30. It was like 11.30, 12 o'clock and now it is a 5.39. It's been around 6 hours. so. I and I was really hot, I was sweating and stuff, and my makeup still looks good. I look a little shiny, I'm getting a little oily, I haven't touched up or anything, but the foundation still looks pretty good. I'm really uh, loving this foundation and did it really wear off. You can still see my blush on my face. The foundation is not as full coverage as I would like it to be. I wish it could build up more, but it's like a light medium coverage I would say it's maybe more medium coverage than light but I really like how it looks let me know down in the description box how you like it so far so I'm very oily and I would just have to touch it up with like a powder puff but I always have to touch up my makeup because I'm just oily 
but nonetheless the foundation still looks good so my final reviews on the ready set gorgeous foundation is that the color matching was pretty good once it set into my skin and really matched my skin color is very smooth and lightweight it blends in very easily I had no problems with that it lasts a long time I don't know if it lasts all day maybe if you're not like constantly sweating but I'm really hot and the people who live in hot climates it gets really really hot so I suggest you set your makeup and primer skin beforehand this will probably be good for people with dry skin. It does give a natural look to the face. I, out of 1 to 10, I would probably give this foundation a 7, but this is just my first impressions. I try, I will try it a little bit longer and tell you guys an update of how I like it. But I do really, really like this foundation. It's not as good as the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Flawless Foundation. That one is full coverage, which I like, and that lasts pretty much all day. So yeah guys, that's my final thoughts on this foundation. Please let me know if you tried this foundation and what you think about it. And let me know what other products you would like me to review. And also let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next. And also share this video with your friends. I'm doing a big giveaway too. So share this video with your friends, your friend, your friend. Tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Dimples Baby so you can see different looks that I do that I don't film and also looks on other people that I do. And yeah guys, until my next video, bye!